So what are the disadvantages or you can say the comparison between the sequential lobing and the conical scale is that the angle accuracy can be no better than the size of antenna big bit. There is second, there is a variation in the echo signal on pulse by pulse, okay, with the help of the basic changes that the signal level is also going to be changed, which ultimately reduce the accuracy of radar. Third, the antenna gain is less than the peak gain in the beam axis direction. So it reduces the maximum range that it is going to be measured. So over here, accuracy range is going to be changed. What accuracy is going to be changed with the help of variation in the echo strength and second it is going to be changed based on the size of the antenna. So accuracy depends on what is the size of my antenna as well as what is the strength of my echo signal. Right? And the disadvantage of the conical scale is antenna scanning rate is going to be limited by a mechanical so it may cause a mechanical error second it is sensitive to the target modulation and third if there is a mechanical vibration due to rotating fit it may cause the error in the azimuth and the elevation angle rotation of antenna. Okay, so these are the disadvantages of sequential loading, and this is for the conical scale. Alright, now third one is the simultaneous loading. Now, what does it mean? With a single pulse, angular coordinates which can be obtained. So we are able to determine the maximum unambiguous range, but it is limited by PI, that is a pulse deprecation frequency. So this simultaneous lobing which includes the mono pulse that means we are only going to transmit a single pulse okay which is a free of mechanical vibration and the error due to the amplitude fluctuation of target echoes that are going to be reduced with the help of simultaneous loading okay so this is the error of conical scaling this is the error of Sequential loading. Both these errors are going to be nullified with the help of simultaneous loading. So, what is monopulse? So, it is defined as the one in which the information concerning about the angular location of target is going to be obtained by the comparison of the signal received in two or more forms. Okay. So we are going to transmit the many pulse which are employed to increase the accuracy. So you can see that the accuracy of this mono pulse is not going to be affected by the amplitude fluctuation of target echo. Right? So the most popular mono pulse is the amplitude comparison to mono pulse. Right? So let us focus on amplitude comparison monopulse. As its name suggests, it compares the amplitude of received echo signal. Okay? Simultaneously received in the multiple squinted waves, determining the angle. Right? 
So this required squinted waves are going to be generated by two slightly displaced field on the parabolic reflect. So why this difference pattern is going to be operated? We are able to generate for the sound pattern. Sound pattern is used for the ranging. In the difference pattern is used for the angle measurement. Alright. So the signal received will be in the two form as I have told you, sound and the difference pattern. So these two patterns are going to be amplified with the help of amplifier and they are going to be combined at the phase sensory detector. Why? Because we need to produce the error signal. The error signal is totally dependent on the angle. Okay. So on which angle we need to rotate the antenna. So this sound signal as I have told you is used to get the range information and the subtraction signal or we can say the subtract out of subtractor signal is going to get the information about the angles. Right? Now the phase sensitive detector. This system contains the phase sensitive detector that compares a two signal of the same frequency. Right? It is a non-linear device. So this output indicates the direction of angle which is relative to the board side. This axis perpendicular to the angle. So more this phase comparison is done. We are able to extract the magnitude of error signal which going to be determined by the comparison of amplitude signal, right? So the sound and difference signal. With the help of azimuth and the elevation board side over here, you are able to find out that there are four circle W, X, Y and Z. There are total five intersections between W, X, X, Z, Z, Y, W, Y and in between the intersection of all this circle. Okay. So for that we require the four more monopoles for feeding. Okay, to fill the antenna. Okay. So it generates two signal. First one is the summation signal, which is used for range information, and second one is for the angle information, right? This is subtraction signal, which is the addition signal W plus X plus Y plus Z. This is subtraction signal. But the subtractor signal is separate for the azimuth as well as for the elevation. Right? As there is an amplitude comparison monopulse is there, over here the phase comparison monopulse is also exist in which the two antenna beams are going to use to obtain the angle measurement in one body. So how we are going to do is the two beam which is look in the same direction as it is in the earlier case. But over here they look at slightly in different direction. Okay. So what is the limitation of this phase comparison? Over here the effect of this relating lobes will be present. Why? Because there is a wide separation between the antenna, right? Based on that, it may cause the image piece in the angle measurement. So to overcome this problem, we may require the portion of this parabolic reflector to slice off to achieve this. Okay, to work on 
this to error because of the anger mission. Alright? Now, attitude and the face comparison monopoles. Fourth hand, as I have told you, it generates some and a different signal. A some signal is only a single signal, and the different signal one is for azimuth, other one is for the animation angle. Okay? We are able to extract the range information from the sound signal and angle information from the different signal. Alright? So it is both detected after the amplitude detection. Alright? So the angular error signal is going to be obtained by comparing the echo amplitude which actuates the servo mechanism to position the antenna. Right? The angle of arrival is going to be determined by comparing the phase difference between the signal of two separate antenna. But the antenna of the phase comparison are not offset. Alright? So, over here, we have studied in chapter number 5 that how this whole tracking is going to be done. So, in tracking, the first information is range, azimuth angle, elevation angle, and the Doppler shift frequency is going to be obtained. What are the different methods of tracking? It is like conical scanning, sequential lobing, and the third which we have done is a phone locus. Phone locus have two types amplitude comparison and the phase comparison, right? We have studied the comparison between sequential lobing and the conical scanning. What are the disadvantages of that? And we have seen which one is better and how to overcome that disadvantage that we have used the monopause tracking. Monopause tracking have two types. What are the two types? The two types are amplitude comparison and the phase comparison. In amplitude comparison, two signals are going to be generated. First one is sound signal, second one is a different signal, right? Sound signal is used for range information and the different signal is used for the phase signal, okay? Or we can say the angle information, alright? Apart from that, we have seen the comparison between the amplitude comparison monopoles and the phase comparison monopoles, right? Which one is better that we have discussed in chapter number 5. So over here chapter number 5 is finished. But still if you have any question you can ask me at any time on my video email ID. So the next session we are going to start chapter number 6. Till then thank you for your attention.